Alright, so today we're going to show you how to replace the transmission fluid on a 6F24, I think? A 6 speed automatic non CVT 2014 Jeep Patriot. So you want to drive the car for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, get the transmission fluid hot, and then do this, obviously. I got a drain pan, a long funnel. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So yeah. Alright, so first thing you want to do is take this stuff off of the battery. You want to take the battery out. That's how you get to the fluid fill for the transmission. So it's going to be a 10 millimeter. So that's what we're going to do here. Alright, so as you can see, that dude right there, that little 13 millimeter bowl is a tensioner to tighten the battery so it doesn't move. So now what we're going to do is we're going to There, you can see where you know all the bolt holes are. That's basically all 13. There we go. So as you can see here, the transmission fill port is right there. That plastic chunk. So you kind of want to clean that because that's where you're going to fill obviously all of your tranny fluid. But before we do all that we're going to go underneath and drain the fluid. So you actually don't need a jack stand. Um, right here is the plug that you need to undo. It is a uh, 3 8 ratcheting head. That's the fill port. Or sorry, the uh, inspection port. But before we do that, we gotta do this drain plug right there. Kinda hard to see here, but there it is. It's got a lock wash on it, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that off. Let me see if I can get you guys in here to see it. <laughs> Alright, so this plug diameter is actually gonna be a 15 16 or a 23 if you have it. this like so. Careful it's really hot. It has a lock washer too. So you can see how freaking dirty that stuff is. I'm just looking at the uh, drain plug here and look how much freaking junk is on here, dude. Let's clean this thing off. Look at this. This freaking thing. One guy on a video I watched had 0.9 freaking grams of metal on this plug, dude. It's nuts. And this thing only has 93,000 miles. And I'm putting the hands oil stuff in it. Just kind of cleaning this up so I don't put any junk back in there, you know? Clutch material or graphite or whatever. I'm trying to deal with all that. Jeez. Look at how freaking dirty this thing is, man. I don't like that. I really don't. So, yeah. There's a magnet clean. That freaking crap in there. Look at that. Ugh. I just came off of this. 
So now what you want to do is get your 3 8 pull this dude out. Like so. And leave that little filter thing in there. And we're going to fill it until this inspection hall has stuff come out of it. Alright, since we got the fill port out, or the, sorry, the level indicator, the transmission fluid level indicator, we want to get this fill port out to put fluid in. We say uh, 5 liters, uh, I'll have to look the conversion, but this is a 7 8 so we're going to put that on here. Goes up here like so. Actually, a longer one. So if you like when you're just like working on your own stuff, you gotta make it work. A bunch of tiny little dudes. So whatever. You wanna pull this off by hand since it is plastic. Looks just like that. Yeah. Um, they say to replace this O-ring, but uh, it's, it looks fine, so I'll just clean this plug off before I put it back in. Then we're going to put the transmission fluid in. Obviously this dipstick. And I'm just going to put it like so. And I got the... I'm using a better fluid, hopefully, than uh, the original. This is uh, vehicle specific fuel efficient ATF from Amsoil. This is the uh, signature series. This is what they recommended for my 2014 Jeep Patriot, the 2.4 liter. This is all the specs that it meets. You can see that it meets. Uh, Hyundai and Kia, which is the same transmission that this is in, the Chrysler Mopar SPI-4, which is what this vehicle calls for a fluid. So we're going to start pouring this in here. Alright, so I added three quarts, which five quarts is five, you know, a little under five Liters, and it started to come out of the hole so I put it back in just like you're supposed to and then what I'm going to do is add half a pint after I put the inspection plug back on into here and then drive it around and do a sequence of park, neutral, drive, reverse and then stay in each gear for three seconds and whatnot so I'm kind of curious because it said a drain and fill was five quarts so this is three I haven't even opened these two so I'm going to put a half a pint in there and then see what's going on all right, so from my research, basically you fill until the inspection cover leaks out on the bottom, the little click thing, and then close it and then add a quart of transmission fluid. So I did three quarts in, and then on the third one, it started to leak out, so I closed it, and then what you're gonna do is add a quart, so four quarts total. All right, so something I found out uh, you can't add the full quart to the uh, fill port because it's overfilled. So you have to actually take it for a drive, you know, after you add three quarts, and then come back, take everything apart, and then add another quart, and you should be good. All right, so basically, that's how you change your Jeep transmission fluid 2014 Patriot 6F24. Also, Kia Optima, and then Hyundai something. Um, it's not a CVT, it's a six speed. Basically, do what I did, take it for a drive for 10 minutes in each gear for 3 seconds, then come back, fill it up with a quart, make sure to make that the funnel's in there because it's going to rip, there's no way for air to get in there, and then check it with the little inspection port on a level surface, and if it drips out, then, then you're good to go. And I'm going to do it again to get the rest of the fluid out in a week. So thanks for watching, guys.